previously on Torres the Tank Engine. We are getting close to Division 1, we're getting close to finishing a gold rare team. First off, buy a goalkeeper today, Diego Lopez, he sounds good. Torres, it is almost over, our dream team is almost complete. A few more episodes of this and it will be done, however, I think Division 1 is in order. How do you feel? Oh, I see what you want, Roman. I think we can win Division 1. We're only a few games away from actually becoming the victors of it, never mind getting just promoted. So I'll see what I can do. Good. Buy gold rares, buy anything you want, just get into Division 1. Okay Roman, let's go. Hello everybody, my name is Bonus, and welcome to another episode of Torres at Tank Engine. Just before we get into the episode though, if you are looking to buy or sell any coins, then make sure to check out Fever Coin Traders, their link are down below. A fast, reliable and a trustworthy source for coins, so make sure to check them out. They have an automated system as well, so you'll be in and out in no time. Anyway, as you can see, this is what the team is looking like going into the next match. This is more stream footage. These first two games are from yesterday's stream, and the last game is from um, today's stream. We also played another three games, which will be in tomorrow's episode. So if you want to tune into the stream, make sure to check out. It'll be around midday again tomorrow. Make sure to check it out if you are interested in watching. Of course, guys, this is the next match we're going to come against, though. It's like a 100 chem, really strange team. He has a manager in there, um, and also bronze and silvers and gold, especially for a Division 2 team. It's really strange. But as you can see, he's putting on a lot of pressure in the first half. Goalkeeper making a near mistake there. That's Diego Lopez, the new goalkeeper that we bought last episode. He's on another attack, though, here, and his touch actually favours him there as it drags it away from a defender, and he crosses it back in. But Jermaine Defoe to took that away. That's really the finish for him, and a really nice ball delivered across the box. Adrian here though getting a goal back that was really fast considering um, he was all over his staff and again here as you can see he's going to nearly score again that's Lopez making one of the best saves of the series with great fate great De Gea save really wasn't it um, here though we actually get a goal back 57th minute that is Michu so it's now 2-1 and he's going to go straight on an attack from his kickoff and he's going to try and just sidestep my goal here though as you can see what did my defender do there I didn't click B this was in the stream but I didn't click B if you just take a look oh um um, I apparently he tackled without me clicking B. I don't know if you can turn this off if it's a feature in FIFA, but that's a bit annoying when I'm completely covering the goal and he can co go and do that because my my defender automatically put in a foot without me knowing. Anyway, he goes and gets another goal back with Patterson. It's 3-2 now, and after you know kind of staying in the match a little bit, good defensive work both sides. He goes and scores that again, making it 4-2, which means we've actually lost a match in Division Two, which is really unfair. And as you can see the stats: ten shots, seven shots on target each, and he. He won 4-2, which is really, really unfair. Anyway, 15 points out of 7 games played. So we only need 2 more points now to actually get through this division and win the whole title. I'm going to go and buy 3 contracts, though, first off. All for 300 each. Contracts are up and down in prices, but I just really can't bother waiting around for them. So I'm, you know, I'm just kind of just buying them as I, as I see the price uh, as I can. It's easily for me to buy. And there you go. That's what the score looking like net going into the next match, though. As you can see, it's actually look, looking really sick. Javi Garcia is a sick player. You've got Bojan, you've got um, Kalyon as well. Or not Kalyon, sorry, um, I think it's Sergio Canales. Anyway, next match, and as you can see, it's a French team with an Italian pairing at the back with, um, I think that's the Juventus goalie in the... I don't know if it's Buffon, I don't know if that was Buffon actually in the net. But he does take the lead early on. Three minutes, and it's Ben Arthur scoring a sweet goal. Couldn't do anything about that. you got to uh, hand it to him. There you go. I try and score, though, and his goalkeeper makes a fantastic save. Whoever it is in net, he is a fantastic goalkeeper in this game. We can nearly come there with like the deflection I think that was nearly getting into the goal and here you go he goes and scores again that is with Carlos Tevez that time and I think Lopez should have done better there um, but really those shots really shouldn't go in and actually again he goes and scores so that is 3-0 I think that's three shots as well that he's had and he's scored all of them which is really unlucky but we're hoping to get back into this as you can see he went on the attack there I do retrieve the ball back and we're going to take a shot with I think that was Javi Garcia and he just clips the post that is really unlucky from him and we're going to go and put a ball through here for I think it is Michu or somebody cool and it's actually Sergio Canales sorry and he does go and score that which is awesome um it was so crazy this match. It was 3-1 at this point, so I was hoping to come back in the match just before half time, get another goal that will really stick the pressure on him just before. And there you go, we nearly score again. That was actually not even a corner, that one. I thought it took a deflection, but it was just a poor shot, I think, from Rodrigo. And um, here you go, though, we do go and score, though. It is Rodrigo picking up the goal just before half time hits. So that was really lucky. We're now 3 2 in the match, and as you can see, we get lucky with the deflection, and Fernando Torres, the tank engine, is not going to miss from that range. So it's now 3 3. We've come back in this match match and 
We're hoping not to concede again until he has a touch that favours him and he goes and scores again, which making it 4-3. That's what I really don't get about this game. There is momentum in the game, but when momentum flicks around like this, as you can see, we're going to score here with Bojan again. It's now 4-4. Uh, momentum doesn't make sense when an opponent is scoring like this and I am also scoring like this. In real life, it just doesn't really work like this. If someone's winning 3-0, it shouldn't really um, swing in the other favour to make it 3-3. It's very rare this happens, but it happens so much in FIFA. And as you can see, he's scored again. It's now 5-4 and he scored that with Lovetsy. We're going to go and put a, a ball through here, though, for Juan Fran, who's going to cross it in. And can we score? No, we can't. A great save from his goalkeeper. And Xabi Garcia is going to pick the ball up here and skim the crossbar up there, which is making it really unlucky. Sergio Canal is passing to Rodrigo here. Oh, great touch there. <laughs> it's actually really lucky, but we do score, making it 5-5. And that is full time in that match. And I think it deserved both ways. I don't know if I had a load more shots than him. I can't remember, but it was a really awesome match. If you was watching on the stream, you know I was quite raging a little bit because it was frustrating that the match was 5-5 five, five. and as you can see there's the shot um, it was kind of even I had a load more shots in him but only one more on target so I um, kind of deserved draw there and a fair play to if you're watching the video I don't know if you are but um, yeah awesome match there 16 points anyway one point from winning the title in two games so hopefully we can win or draw one of these next two matches as you can see though I was just showing people in the stream what um, Torres is on because Torres was sent to, Chel to the Chelsea team the other day his um, goal record is set but he has scored 6 in 5 so not too bad for him and that's what the team is looking like going into the next match and the final match of the episode a really long episode for you today guys so if you have enjoyed make sure to drop a like it really does help out on the channel and Robert 19,000 subscribers guys so thank you so much for that it's awesome where we're calling so far and as you can see the next team is a 3-5-2 Liga Bibivier side with Wellerton and Lovetsy in the squad so I don't really know what we're going to come against here but we do nearly take the lead there his goalkeeper making a fine save onto the left side and also Lopez making a good save for me but we're going to go a great through ball here and it was Torres taking the touch and we do actually score that the touch was awful from Torres but we just got it back and finessed it past the goalkeeper as you know Torres is finessing it's probably the best in the game another shot there I think that was from Bojan nearly scoring and here you go he goes and scores with all the uh, I was attacking so much here you go man on the line and he goes and scores that and <laughs> oh it was a really really stupid match to be honest um, I did get quite a lot of EAs in this and general there you go Michu nearly scoring I love Michu in this game you have to try him out if you haven't yet Bojan here though nearly scoring I think it is um, he just skims the post in this match and we had so many shots in this first half as you can see it's the 40th minute we've hit the post again it's like 10 shots for me and one shot for him and it's gone in for him which is really unlucky however gonna hit the crossbar here again I think that was Torres that time and here we go can we score finally no we can't not yet and as you can see 8 shots 4 on target 1 goal apiece and he's only had 1 shot and 1's gone in so really unlucky there hopefully though we can try and score again and it is the first one Bojan in the second half 60 minutes in and um um, it was um, a fine goal to be honest a nice cross in and an easy finish for Dvojan here though we're going to run along with Adrian he's going to power that in that's his weak foot scoring that shot I was surprised they actually near post op that I was expecting a save however we're going to nearly score again his goalkeeper making one of the finest saves we've seen so far and on the line there that was a br fantastic you know just trying to get in front of the ball and he did that masterfully 3-1 though to me and he's going to get a goal back in the final seconds of the game you've seen how many times I tackled him it's about three tackles that's the third one right there and there you go he's going to go stick that away with Benzema unfortunately oh, fortunately, though we did win 3-2 and that means we are in to Division 1 we've come this far it has been awesome we went on a mini loss streak a few episodes back but we've come back into this 19 points we finished the league with and we had an extra game to get another three points if we needed it however we didn't know Division 2 is ours and we're now into Division 1 so guys thank you all for watching if you have enjoyed please do drop a like an extra long episode for you all today so make sure to drop a like if we go over 300 there will be another episode tomorrow I'll be streaming again as well so make sure to check it out anyway guys thank you all for watching if you're not new subscribe for more and as always hope you have a great day